Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk Just a wee quick, quick live to let people see what I got in my pre-order Not a huge order, so it won't take too long But some things in it are a wee bit special So I just thought I'd come, in, come on and share And sometimes people like to just get a closer look at things before they order them themselves So if you're in Come and say hello. I'm just getting myself started here. Hi, Ladonia. Whoops, get myself set up and then we're away. No matter how fast you think you can do. Hi, Alison. Just a quickie. I just thought it would be nice just to share what came in my box today. And what did I forget to order? I'll show you what I've ordered and then you can see if you can guess what I forgot to get. So what does this go with? Finally, it's finally hi Trish 615 for you. Yeah, it'll be early for you too, Bev. Are you at 615 or are you in a slightly different time zone to Adelaide? Trish is in Adelaide. So this order ha was scheduled to come yesterday and it's come today, but the delivery lady told me that she actually had it yesterday. Um Oh yes, yeah. um, she actually had it yesterday but couldn't get to where I live because they were doing some road resurfacing so I was quite excited when it came but I was busy working so I couldn't open it at the time but I've had my dinner and I've opened the parcel has been opened and the box itself disposed of but I thought you might like to see my little baby what do you think? Look at this gorgeous wee thing. This will make such a difference when I'm doing videos. Clearly it won't take it, you know, it's not going to take anything too big. It's like four inches across there. But how lovely. Most of our dies are not really that much bigger than this. There'll just be a few. So these are all the plates that come with it. So you've got your base plate which is one and oh I don't know what's what here we've got these two so this m must be the three we've got three here there's a different two they're a different order to our the big machine so you need to read the order of things this one is for with 3D folders. This one is with other normal embossing folders. And then for cutting, we have this one and these two. So we've got the whole lot there. Hi, Lorna. I know it's exciting. I've waited. Yeah, mine just arrived too, Karen, and I just got it open, so I thought I'd share. Managed to eat my dinner as well first, so and then I hope to be watching Stampin' Star Creations at nine o'clock. So while I was getting ready, so I will craft while I'm watching Esther. I will. Um, I thought I'd just let you all see my baby. So we're going to call this. Hi, Kerry. I think we'll be calling this Baby Boss. Unless anyone else has a better idea, but I think Baby Boss is a good view. So I'm really excited about it. But so there's my wee baby. Hi Karen. Another Karen in the room. I, I love my bigger one too, but I just feel that this is so much lighter and so much easier when I'm doing videos. If you don't, if I didn't do videos, I possibly wouldn't have, but You've got to just admit it's got a lot of points for cuteness. Yeah, hi Ruth. 
<laughs> my cute baby and I did hear I can't remember which American demonstrator did hear calling it baby boss and I think that's a fantastic name for it so I'm just going to go with baby boss as I say it isn't a huge order although that obviously that's a fair a considerable expense but then I've got oval occasions I don't even have a catalogue beside me to give you any more information but and I'm not allowed to let you see inside it. We'll just go. I think the mini one is great and portable, able to go on holidays. Won't be such a big consideration. And I think it'll go in that amazing bag that I got from on stage. No bother. Okay, so oval occasions. How cute is this? All these sentiments will fit inside that oval. So... We've got double punch here, so we'll be able to... Hi Linda! I can't remember if I said hi Kerry. If I've not said hello to you, I'm saying it now. This is my official hello, I'm all excited. Uh, who needs Christmas Day? For gifts anyway. We need it, but not necessarily for gifts. I've been kind to myself. <laughs> so yeah, so this is going to be fun for sentiments. And I believe it will fit a lot of other um, things on other stamp sets. Sorry, my brain's not here with me. But yeah, this is great. Glad they brought back an oval punch. I totally love punches. It makes up life a lot easier. And especially as a demonstrator when you're making a lot of um, gifts for customers and things. Punch, you know, doing anything... Um, I'm trying to sort out what I've got that's not celebration. I'll show you them after. Righty. Sorry. That's celebration and that's celebration. Oh, I'm not quite sure why I've got three. Right. Okay, so this is, I went for this one because I, I like it. And actually, although it's kind of aimed at men, I, I love the, like old airships and balloons. I like the aircraft too, and I don't think that has to be for a guy or masculine. Although I'm sure Ruth could have fun with this on Masculine Monday. Could do some one sheet wonders with these two anyway. And that would, what do you think, Ruth? Would that be fun for? One sheet wonder. I think it might. I don't know what you bring in with it. But I, I'm planning to play with that one soon. Um, then, what else have I got? Not an awful lot. This one was given up to all demonstrators who had attended um, on stage. And this was a prize patrol that everyone got. And we didn't, we couldn't have it until the beginning of December. So when I logged on, that was ready for me to pop into my basket. So yeah, so I, I haven't got the punch yet, but I will. It's distinctive stamps. I, I think this happy birthday sentiment is amazing. Have you got to wait till Thursday, Karen? Oh dear. So yeah, treat yourself. That's a good one. Thank you. That's nice. Hey, Esther. I'm just having a wee chat with everybody. I'm like the warm up act before you start at nine o'clock. <laughs> We're looking for you at nine anyway. Yeah, so this is all about ice creams and we, what we call in Scotland ice lollies. Um, so that and that makes a cone. And then we've got ice lollies and as I say it's distinctive. So it should be a bit of fun getting some colours on that. That's that one. And then I bought, this is the Pearlescent Speciality Paper because I wanted to see, <laughs> I wanted to see um, how this differed to our shimmer, our shimmer paper, what do you call our shimmery white. Of course, I'll get a piece of shimmery white so that you can see. Well, well, if I open the correct drawer. So, 
there's so the the pearlescent paper is creamier it's almost got a greenier tinge to the shimmery white I'll just take a small piece of this out just to let you see it's thinner and it's a different shade but it's beautiful it's much much more shimmery than our shimmery white much it's got a real shine to it so that's nice so we will play with that and see what we can do with that but I don't I don't think that would work with Whisper White. You'll have to use that with colours, I think. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, you get two sheets in that pack. It's not too expensive, but I just thought it was nice to have a look at it. Yeah, it is. I think, yeah, it is more like the shade of the, the shimmery paint. You're quite right, Lorna, it is. So, anyway, that is that. And they... I have also ordered, I mean, you already, I've already had um, a product premiere order as well, so I just had to kind of rein it in a wee bit for this because I was having Baby Boss, so not so much other product. The True Love Designer Series paper, love the look of this, so I've got this. Uh, let's have a look in. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Sorry about that. Do it every time. Forgot to put power. Sorry about that, folks. I'm actually too warm. <laughs> Not frozen <laughs> for a change. But hey, okay. So here we go. What's in here? Da 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 da. Won't let. It won't come out. It doesn't want to come out to play. Oh gosh, look at this. It's all black and white. Who doesn't like black and white? Look at all these beautiful, beautiful detailed flowers. What fun will you have with that? This. It's got texture to it as well. It's not like solid black. Hi Christine and you come. Come away in. Oh my goodness, that will play with your eyes. That is like 70s wallpaper. But look at the detail in there. Wow, th honestly, that is like, what do you call it? Like a visual migraine, that. <laughs> Maybe not so much on cam. Oh, it's okay if I look at my iPad, but when I look straight at the paper, it's dancing in front of my eyes. But hey, we'll go to the other side. Who's desperate to get their blends in there? I sure am. Definitely. I, honestly, I'm just about to start making um, cards to go out to my customers with their catalogues and I'm definitely featuring this in there. Oh, wow, look. Oh, well, I like the diagonal stripe too. And I like the fact it's not solid black, it's textured. It's almost like a denim -y print at the back there. Oh, just superb. Oh, polka dots. Well, I think I'll be, I, I might be doing some colouring. I might, I probably don't record what I do anyway or come and share it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I'm a quite a fan of negative colouring. Hi Carol, and you come. Come away in. Get a seat. <gasps> Looking for, I think, are they meant to be roses? At first they look like cabbages. But they could be either. Have you ever had those bouquets? Like somebody gives you a bunch of cabbages. It's a bit weird, but. I think they maybe are meant to be flowers. Oh no, there's more. They're definitely like cabbages, aren't they? Yep, you're right, Christine. The pinstripe would be just... Look at that. There's so many nice... That would make a good shirt, I'm sure. The 
today. I reckon our stripe's cool. Polka dot. What else have we got? Tell me that they're not cabbages, please. Yeah, it's definitely for <laughs> It's like a bunch of kale bags, very much. Wow, look at that. I do like a Regency stripe, and that is just what that is. That is lovely. And these ones, oh, they're a bit like anemones. I think maybe the other ones are trying to be anemones too, I don't know. But they are just gorgeous. Coming soon to a card near you. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Then we have the rest are celebration, I think. So I've got Punch Party, which is the host set for celebration. Which I think is fab. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. And some of these will fit the oval punch, some's going to fit the heart punch, and some will fit the postage stamp punch. Yeah, cabbage roses, but you know, in Scotland, if you get given a bunch of those sort of things, it's like somebody thinks you've been given a bouquet of vegetables. Right. But I like the sentiments here. I'll have to send an I'm sorry to the cabbages. <laughs> I'm sorry. You make my heart happy. That That's a saying that I've just become aware of this last year or two, but it is nice, isn't it? Or I sometimes say to my granddaughter, you make my heart smile. Because <laughs> she does. But yeah, the, there's a work on your oval punches. I do like this one for the heart, isn't it? Just that just that little wee detail. Look at this totsy wee flower. Look at the teeny wee flowers. How big are the stamps in comparison? Let's see. Yeah, it is a bit small flower in there, but the wee flower is still totsy, look. A nice heart. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So that is... Um, the host gift for celebration so that's for orders of £150 or more in the UK you need to do a calculation in your language right this one is I had to have one for me hummingbirds absolutely love and butterflies what's not to like here and it's two-step stamping what fun this is going to be these guys are going to be featuring everywhere for the next wee while I can't wait to play but I'm going to wait I'm going to take my time and get through them all so yeah best wishes thank you so much thinking of you hope hello friend and love loads in there but look at the detail in this wee butterfly not only has it got antennae this one's got legs as well and look at that hummingbird this seems like a hundred years ago but in february i was in phoenix in arizona and we went to the botanic the city botanic gardens in phoenix and watched hummingbirds and i could have sat and watched them for hours Absolutely. And my poor husband was trying to take a photograph and I was saying, you're wasting your time, just sit and enjoy them. But he kept trying, but there's no way that an amateur could get a photograph of a hummingbird that's going to be something that you can, you know, that's going to be worthy of a magazine or anything. But it was so fun. They, I don't know what the facts are, but how many beats of those wings in a minute? In, or even per second it's incredible incredible they're not still for one second anyway look lovely lovely leaves I'll let you see the size in comparison because it's a it's two part stamp set here so yeah it's quite big look over that way it's quite big and some lovely leaves and flowers and the two stripe parts so the colouring of it will be quite easy. Oh, I can't really wait to get that inked up as well. Ooh, exciting times. The thing is, if I've got so many things from 
the last catalogue and the annual catalogue that I've not even used yet, I'm ashamed to say, so we'll see. I've got loads to go yet. All right, and that, so that one in celebration, you get free with a £90 spend, and I think that is because it is such a big stamp set. It's two, you know, there's two full sheets here of stamps, and, and oh, it's got dotage as well. Look, dotage, girls. Beautiful. They are gorgeous, so yeah, get a £90 order in so you can get this free. It's a good a good offer. And then this is another £90 one, however, you're getting a stamp set and the paper. Oh, do they, Christine? Well, I'll just need to come and stay with you for some holidays so that I can watch. I will park myself near your perch so I can sit and watch. So we have here another two-step stamp it set, which is fabulous. You always have a way of making my day. Isn't that nice? Bountiful blessings. That's a nice sentiment too. And wishing you the very best. Fab. Now in Scotland we are um, quite known for our berry harvest. Raspberries and strawberries grow very well, not far from where I live. Um, yeah, so should be, although they can't, yeah, I think I could make that into a raspberry or a blackberry or whatever suited. So that, they're gorgeous. And who doesn't like blueberries? Because they're there. And the paper, let's see what the paper is. Oh, look at that in there with that fingernail because I'm not wasting time to get tools. Okay, so lovely colours here. What have we got in here? Lo oh my goodness, three rows of colours here. We've got Bammy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Cherry Cobbler, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo Garden, Green Granny Apple, Green Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce and Whisper White. I need a lie down after all that. Right, do you want to peek? They'll probably not come because we'll not be able to shut up long enough, Christine, to let them come and watch. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. It's like leaves. A very watery, colory look about it. Yeah. So they could be raspberries, tea berries. I don't know, Logan berries. Just, and look at this, does this not have a strawberry feel to it? That definitely makes me think of strawberries with the wee seeds. Ooh, oh, look at these watercolored strawberries. How fabulous, that's beautiful. I know it's like a rainbow set. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, we need to make some strawberry jam so that I can use that to go with it. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, look at this. This is where the rich raspberry comes in. Oh, have a lovely time with your granddaughter, Bev. That's wonderful. Hey, Tammy. We're, just, we're nearly coming to the end of my pre-order, but you can always have a peek back. Oh gosh, look at these. Wow. So you could kind of, they could be single berries or they could be like a wee bunch of grapes. I think they're meant to be berries, like what well, we call them brambles in Scotland. But blackberries, the rest of the UK. Have you still got some strawberries, Tammy? Very good. It's funny how in just a wee sheltered area, how you can, yeah. Look at this background, isn't that just gorgeous? These two together. How fab. Look at this. Oh my goodness, it just gets better and better. 
Do you know when you've just finished a catalogue where you think Stampin' Up! can't get any better? They do, they come up with something else that's just either better or equally fabulous. Look at the colours here, there's my bammy blue and oh, my night of navy. <gasps> Blueberries, aren't they wonderful? Oh, this excites me. Totally. Look at these together. Are you seeing cards with two in here? Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. Oh, then we go back to reds. What we got? Oh wow, look at these in the beautiful detail of the strawberry flower. Strawberry, fl strawberry flowers are the most exquisite little flowers. Quite often we ignore them, but if you go in close, I like to do macro photography, so when you go in really close to some of these tiny little insignificant flowers, they are so beautiful, so beautiful. And they're not insignificant at all. Have you ever had a purple strawberry? Well, there's one there. Yeah. Oh. oh gosh, look! Oh my goodness. These two go together, but that would work with that too. Look. Yes, I had blueberries today too. I do love them. Isn't that just something else? Oh, and look at this one. More of a plaidy. Oh no, that's the same. Plaidy sort of tartan. Oh wow! Oh, we're gonna have a fruity time. A chip butty. <laughs> you can't meet it. Can you beat a chip butty, as they say? Right, so I'm gonna pop this back in, and the other item I have that I can't wait to get using is this and I'm not going to open it in front of you because I know what will happen and you know what will happen we'll take our time with this it's the gilded leafing so we are going to have some very special things this is going to be used on so that's me folks so if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up I will be back on to craft with these maybe tomorrow and maybe Thursday we'll see We'll, we might start or we might still be using other things from the other catalogue no don't be afraid of it I've used it before not this particular one I've still got some by another company um yeah so oh this has been packaged in Canada as well yeah so yeah no it's fun to work with I wouldn't worry about it what's wrong with having a bit of gold leaf through your house I spill everything. I spill glitter. I spill shimmer paints. And I've no doubt I'll spill this. And when my husband comments, I'll just say, aren't you a lucky man to live in such a sparkly household? So anyway, I'm going to go off just now. And if you're not busy at nine o'clock, come back on here because our lovely Esther from Stampin' Star Creations will be doing her Tuesday night stuff. No idea what she's got planned. I hope she does. Okay, we're looking forward to it, Esther, whatever you're going to do. And I'm going to start playing with this while I'm watching Esther. So anyhow, do you know what you're going to be doing, Esther? Because that'll be good if you know. Oh, well, I'm going to colour two with you. Not the same as you, probably, but I'm going to. And did you all get something ordered in the sale? the clearance rack updated and I have ordered quite a few blends to add to my collection one or two of them are getting a bit um a bit overused so yes blends will be coming soon as well so yeah anyway I'm blathering now but that's what I'm best at but I'll away the new as they say and um, Keep safe everyone and we'll see you soon. I'll see you Esther at nine o'clock and anyone else who chooses to join us. I'm actually waving to you all now so bye bye. Take care.